Hello, this week's video message comes from the rectory in the garden. The Prime Minister announced this week that um, some of our local businesses and public places will be open again to the public. Restaurants, bars and pubs, sports, playgrounds may open again with proper hygiene regulations and social distancing in place. As I'm recording this, we haven't heard yet from the Church of England or our Bishop about what may be allowed in our churches yet, but we're expecting an announcement very soon, once they've had a chance to meet and discuss it. We're expecting that places of worship may be able to open again next month. Our staff team has been discussing how we may proceed with public worship, but we mustn't expect to go back immediately to how things used to be before lockdown. We shall have to operate quite differently for a while, with social distancing, hand sanitizer, no singing or handling of books, or giving out reusable service sheets. We won't be able to serve tea or coffee, and I expect our services will have to be quite short in order to minimise the time we have together. If we're allowed to share in Holy Communion, it will probably be in one kind only, that is the bread, with only the priest receiving the wine. All this will feel rather strange. We're meant to be sociable people, and as a church we're meant to be welcoming, offering the love of God to all who come among us, whoever they are, and helping people feel accepted and have a sense of belonging and community. This often involves touch, handshakes, hugs, sharing the peace, for example. There are many stories in the Bible of Jesus reaching out to the sick, the outcast, the people on the margins, those who have been cast out by the rest of society for whatever reason. Jesus sets us an example of welcome and hospitality which we try hard to emulate. We remember the story of the prodigal son, for example, who spent his father's inheritance and when he returned found his father waiting for him, looking out for him, and at the first sight of him opened wide his arms and ran to meet him. He wrapped him in a cloak, brought him inside, and put on a party to welcome him back into the family. This is the image which speaks to us of God's loving and gracious welcome to all who turn to him whoever they are and whatever they've done. As Jesus says in one of our readings for this Sunday, whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. We want to offer a warm welcome to all who come through our doors because Christ first welcomed us. We know it's going to be some time before everyone is going to feel able to return to church and to worship. We shall continue to offer our services online as well as having limited services in church for the time being. But the church is still alive and at work in our homes and our communities. As we begin cautiously and carefully to open our doors, to start to gather together in different ways in public, as we feel able, we look forward to welcoming all who are able to come among us, whether in person or virtually online, to discover more of the God who loves us and who welcomes each of his children into his embrace. Let us pray. O oh God, door of the sheepfold. May we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor, the lost and the wandering, this day and all our days. Amen. <laughs>